Welcome to this tutorial from Oracle Tuts. In this video we are going to take a look at Oracle SQL Developer and how we can change the background color. Before we begin, you will need the following three things installed on your computer. Oracle SQL Developer, obviously. If you do not have SQL Developer installed, you can get it and install it from the link shown here. You will also need a compress and extract tool. This can be a tool like WinZip, WinRAR, etc. WinRAR is the tool I will be using in this video. You will also need an editor like Notepad, Notepad++, TextPad, etc. In this video I will use Notepad++. Okay, let us quickly look at what the default settings look like. As you can see the default Oracle developer setup gives us a white background under the connections on the left side query result tab below the worksheet and most importantly in the worksheet window. Let us look at some details about the current default settings. On the menu bar click on tools, preferences, environment. For the changes in this video to work it does need to say Oracle under the look and feel option shown here is to say Oracle. Below under theme property you can see that it says Fusion Blue default. This is the default theme. What we are going to do in this video is to extract the default Fusion Blue jar file into a temporary folder, change some of the content in the copied jar file compress our changed content to a new jar file, copy the new jar file to the theme folder, change a setting inside SQL Developer and lastly restart SQL Developer. Okay, let us start the change. Let us switch to the file explorer. The first thing you need to do is to go to the folder where you installed SQL Developer. For me this is the folder where I installed it. In this folder you will find a new folder called IDE. Double click on that. Then under there you will see a themes folder. Double click on that. Then I will extract the Fusion Blue jar file I already had the folder from before. That is okay. Then we go into the Fusion Blue folder we go into the meta-inf folder under there. There's a file called theme properties. We're going to edit this file. The first thing we need to do is to change the name tag. We are going to call it Fusion Blue and instead of default I will call it Darker. Next thing we need to do is uh, below these lines where it speaks about colors we're going to add a third line. That line is going to say colors dot window background equal to grid or hash and here you need to put in any uh, hex value any color. I will use for myself F7 D six B two. That is all we needed in this file. I am not totally certain if we really need to use camel case with an uppercase B, but I have found that that works at least. Now I'll be to save the file. I will close my editor. I will go uh, up one folder. I will mark both these two files. I will right click. I will do add to archive. Then I will ch change it to be zip format. Then I will rename um, my archive to darker.jar, not zip. Then I click OK. Then I have a darker.jar file. 
I right click on that and I do a cut. Then I go up to the themes folder, paste this jar file in here. To clean up, I will delete the Fusion Blue folder that we created earlier when we extracted the current file. Okay, then we are ready to go back to SQL Developer again. Okay, so what we will end up doing is to change here. But we need to restart SQL Developer first so that it can pick up the new theme. So we will do File, Exit. Then we will restart SQL Developer again. We will go to Tools, Preferences, Environment. Now under Themes, we can see Fusion Blue Darker. That is what we will choose. And then we click OK. Then it asks if you want to apply the changes and restart. I have found that that uh, almost never works, so I just click No. I click on File, Exit, and then again I will restart SQL Developer. And as you can see already, the Connections tab has a different background color. I will click on my connection. I will do and here you can see that my worksheet window has a different background as well as the query result window. That is all we need to do to change the background color in SQL Developer. You might already know that um, you can do other settings within SQL Developer uh, that kind of sets the background color, but I do not personally like these background colors, so this is the preferred method for me. I hope you liked the video and I hope it was informative for you. Thank you. This uh, is an Oracle Tuts video.